start off with the uh, plant-based option. So if you do not want any animal products, this is definitely the recipe for you. We're gonna start off with a large um, portobello mushroom cap. I've already taken the stem out. The stem is edible, but just um, because I'm trying to stuff this with lots of yummy filling, I wanted the stem to come out. Um, and I sprinkled it with this umami seasoning. Um, you all know I struggle with this back in camera. So this umami seasoning, I got this one at Aldi. Um, Trader Joe's also sells one, and I just sprinkled it inside the mushroom cap, and then um, I put it in the air fryer. It is so hot here. I mean, it's just humid, so I'm not working my oven today. I'm just gonna run my air fryer. So in my mushroom cap, I'm gonna put some sauce. The one that I chose um, is this Eden brand, it's organic, um, and I'll hold it like that too so you can see it, but it's organic pizza sauce. Has a little bit of um, extra virgin olive oil, but it's 25 calories for a quarter cup. So I am just gonna dump my quarter cup of sauce, which I've already three portions, into the mushroom cap. And this mushroom cap is such a nice vessel for holding sauce. Um, and if you want more seasoning, you can definitely add some Italian seasoning. So the, the sauce does have seasoning in it. It's very, very flavorful, but you know, extra flavor doesn't hurt. So we'll add some of that in there. Um, and then I have this, I think it's pronounced, and, and Kelly, you can correct me if I'm wrong, Daya. Uh, it's a mozzarella style breaded cheese, but it's made with chickpeas, so there's no dairy product in there. Um, and so it looks just like um, mozzarella. We are just going to dump all of this cheese, and it does melt very well. It's it's very gooey when it melts, because um, obviously, you know, I, I test run these recipes. And I think just for a little sweetness, I'm going to add in some um, diced orange bell pepper. Red pepper would be nice if you want some a different color pepper or yellow, just a, a tablespoon or two. I mean, you can put as much as you want. I mean, we're always like, you know, non-starchy veggies. Um, they're unlimited, right? And then I have this container of arugula. So I thought because I've got the sweetness of the pepper and I've got the umami, the savoriness of that meaty mushroom, I'm gonna throw a little pepperiness in here. Um, so I'm just gonna sprinkle some arugula on here. I'm a little bit nervous that it might burn now that I'm kind of doing this in real time. Um, and so you you might wanna just tuck it underneath the cheese, but for people who like their toppings on top of cheese, this is how we're gonna go. So I'm gonna put this in the air fryer and um, I just, mine is not fancy. You probably have seen it before if you've been on demos with me. It's, it's seen better days, but I'm gonna pop this in the air fryer. Um, no parchment, but if you wanted to keep it clean, if you don't like to do this, you certainly could do that. Um, mine is not digital, it's just a dial. So I'm gonna set my uh, digital um, timer over here just so I don't get up about it and then you'll be able to see it in a few minutes so stand by and fingers crossed all right the mushroom is just delicious and if you wanted to you could put um a bed of arugula on your plate and then put the mushroom on top that would be really really pretty actually let's do that now so i don't forget because you know we get busy in these demos we're always doing a thousand recipes so i'm just gonna put some arugula and then when that warm mushroom sits on top it's gonna um kind of wilt the greens a little bit oh no good come here pausing pausing our english muffin oh, Ooh, okay there's our um look how pretty that is the peppers are a little bit caramelized and put it on the arugula so you know we always want to from the rainbow, we eat with our eyes. Look at how pretty that is. 